The next story is Nappy and the Chickadees. Um, one day, it was spring. It was early springtime, and Nappy was uh, got up early and started walking. And it, there was this big creek. He was walking on the shore. Nappy was always hungry. He never has enough food, so he was really out looking for food, and he had to be careful. As he was walking, he didn't want it to make any noise because he might scare off some prairie chickens or some rabbits or anything he can find that was eatable. And it, the days were getting warmer, and but there's still a little bit of ice on the creek. And he kept on walking, just slowly walking and really looking, or looking for something to eat. As <clears throat> Nabi was walking along and he heard some voices. He got really curious and he kept on walking. And then he came around this bend and he said, I hear more than one voice. They're really tiny voices, but there's more than one. As he got closer, he could hear them. They were happy. And he got closer and closer, but he had to be really quiet. And then, and he could hear them laughing and hollering, and he got more curious, and he got closer and closer. Finally, he he started crawling into the bushes to get near to this, this noise, this <clears throat> that were making so much noise. And then finally, he he seen them. They were sitting on a log. Uh, about a dozen of uh, chicken he saw sitting there neatly. But he still couldn't see what they were doing. And and he, he thought, they must be playing a game. And I really want to play a game, because Nappy likes playing games too, especially if it's going to benefit him to win some food. So Nappy... <coughs> Got, got closer and closer, and he said, I, I got to do my act now. So Nappy pretending to cry, and he said, my friends, my friends, can I join you? And the chickadees looked, and they said, oh, it's only our big brother Nappy. Let him come and join us. So the leader of the chickadees um, went up to Nappy and told him, come, come and join our game. So N Nappy followed. <clears throat> he told him, sit on this log. And they, they, Nappy said, did you see that other log over there? It's, it looks white. It's from the sun has been beaming down. And we play this game when it's beginning to be spring. The weather gets warmer and the days start to get longer and, and there's more food around. So we're really happy with this time of the year. We come here and we play this happy game. And when you play this game, your belly has to be full with food and, you know, and just really enjoy the day. So, and they told Nappy, you can join our game, but you have to be careful not to overdo it. So they told Nappy, what you do is, you look at that rock and you say this word and your eyes will fall out of the eye socket and will fly and will land on that rock. So this is how we do it. So you say, Ipomaki, and your eyes will fall out and land on there. And then you say, Iskikipomaki, and your eyes fl fly back into your eye socket. So Napi was really excited. He sat there and he said, Ipomaki, and his eyes fell out, out of the socket of his eyes. And he sat there for a while and said, Ipomaki, and it came back. Well, by then the birds were finished their game and they were flying away and they told the chickadees and they told them Nappy beware don't overdo this and off they went and Nappy just quickly did his ipomaki and no time he did his four 
So Nappy started walking back home, and he was <clears throat> still looking for game, but he wasn't seeing anything. So what he would do is he finds a tree, climbs up on it, and he plays this game again. Ipumaki is ipumaki. His eyes would pop out and then pop back in. Then he'd get off the log and start walking again. He was so amazed with this new game. He'd come across another log, he'd climb up there, and he'd say, Ipumaki is ksap Ipumaki. And when he's done the four, he gets off and start going. It was getting evening by now, but Nabi didn't walk up. It didn't bother him that it was getting evening. And then he thought, he was just about at his camp, and he thought, let me play this game one more time. So he got up on this log he found, and he sat there and he said, Ipomaki, and his eyes came out of the socket of his eyes, landed on the other log. And he said, Ipomaki, Ipomaki. Nothing was happening. Ipomaki, nothing was happening. Now be over and over was trying to get his eyes back. Ipomaki. No, Nabi was now blind. The moral of the story is you don't overdo things and you learn to listen. <laughs>